Good day. I'm going to give you a short side tour of what to expect when you join this course online. So you've already gone to the homepage for Macquarie University e-learning environment and typed in. So your browser should open at the homepage. So first of all, you're going to go to the colleges. Click on colleges. When you click on colleges, a list of the seven colleges and one school is going to appear. You're in Covab, so scroll down to Covab. Click on Covab. When we're in Covab, you're looking for your school where your best school of biosecurity, biotechnology and laboratory sciences. Let's click on there. Now the course, the module on hematology and blood transfusion science is housed in the Department of Biomolecular Resources and Biolab Sciences. That's where you'll click. BBLT program is here. Let's click on it. We are in year one. And we are in the second semester. So yes, here we are, the courses for the second semester. BBLT, blood transfusion science, sorry, BBLT 1204 hematology and blood transfusion science. The academic year is 2021. Now the other courses that were there last year, do not click on them, please. We want to click on only the one for the academic year 2021. So when you click on it, you'll come to the module. We've opened it up for self-enrollment. I'm going to change my role to a student. So as a, as a student, this is what you're going to see. The name of the uh, module and the code. This is a special name, a special extension that you can use to search for the course if need be. So number one, you're going to see your profile here. I have a picture, that's why my profile is there. It has a name. There are some notifications and some, um, yes, some notifications given by the bell and chats or emails that I sent long ago. Colleges is here, webmail is here, the homepage of Muele is here. So number one, you're going to go to announcements. Keep on reading these announcements to find out what is coming up next. We have a blog where you're encouraged to give any suggestions or anything that you think is right or wrong with the, co with the course. You can also give your suggestions via the WhatsApp group. So we scroll down to the welcome messages. The course coordinator is here. There's a telephone and an email. You can contact them anytime. Listen to the video with the welcoming message. We are doing the site tour now. And then you can also learn about the mode of assessment. This is very, very important. It appears as a, as a PowerPoint SCOM package. You click here and get to know how this module is going to be assessed. We have other additional information like the study guide, we're going to come back to it. The outline of the course, resource materials. You have a link to the main library and you have to, it's good to know the university policies. So let's start with the study guide. This is an important tool that you're going to need all through your course. 
it has number one this is an introduction telling you that there's copyright it has a welcome message from the coordinator course overview what you're going to expect aims of the course while we are teaching it the learning outcomes what we expect you to go away with at the end of the course it tells you how the course is going to be graded there's more information on grading of the course in the introduction if you look at the mode of assessment so next we've got the constructive alignment each of the learning outcomes has been given a day they're about four has been given a day when we teach it. We are on the orientation and it's for the 15th uh, October. Now, white blood cells, learning outcome one is going to be taught on 19th of October. And we have different methods we're going to use to assess and find out whether you've learned. Some, it is your individual assessment others it is assessment together with the lecturer and so on so for all the topics the learning outcome is given and the date on which it's going to be taught and how that learning outcome is going to be assessed so let's scroll down away from the constructive alignment we have the course content all the topics are given are listed here the references in the library electronic references electronic websites we're still updating the module national hours but we've also got a table of e activities we're going to do activities online they are e activities or e activities each of these e activities has a deadline beyond which you may not be able to either post your activity. So it's important to come here and look at the activities and know when they're due. We still have the link for the main library and you're encouraged to find out more about the university policies. So thank you. Let's go back to the module. It's taking some time. Okay, we are back again. So we've looked at the welcome messages. We've done the site tour. We're doing the site tour. These are the basic resources, course outline and the study guide, the library corner where we've got the references that we are going to use for the module or the readings that we're going to use for the module. We have the practical menu, basic menu of WHT World Health Organization manual for basic techniques for the lab. SCAMS veterinary hematology and many other more. Now, we are in actually the body of the module. They are called clusters. We have cluster one. You come down and see cluster two. You come down and see cluster three, cluster four, five, six, cluster seven, eight, cluster nine, cluster 10, 11, and cluster 12. Now within these clusters, there are activities which you're going to do. In cluster one, which is ground zero, the activity for the 15th October is indicated. This is another activity for 15th October. When you come down to cluster two, you're going to find other activities indicated by the date. So you just click on this link and it takes you into the body of the cluster and you can begin the activities. Just scroll down, look, 
answer. When you want to leave the cluster, you can scroll to the end and click here. It will take you back to the first page. Or there's a shortcut here where you can scroll on the code for the course and it takes you back to the first page. Good, we're back on the first page. It's always nice to find out who else is enrolled in this module. So if you click on this triple line, you can see which other participants are here. So nobody yet has enrolled because it's not yet the 15th, but you'll see your fellow students enrolled here. So let's go back to the module of the, of the, let's go back to the body of the module and thank you for participating in the site tour.